All right, so let's look at focusing on the numerator first, because there's not really anything to factor out in the denominator, just x minus 4, okay? But let's look at x squared minus 8x plus 16. So if I can split 16 up into two factors that add up to negative 8, then I should be good enough to um, factor that expression, okay? And what I'm thinking we got is negative 4 and negative 4. Because when I add these two, I get negative 8. But when I multiply negative 4 and negative 4, I get 16. So this splits it up into x and x. Hopefully you guys remember this way. If not, you would use uh, factoring by grouping to factor this out. So I've got a x minus 4 and x minus 4. And that is just my numerator. So let's go ahead and write those in. So here's the great thing about what we see on this problem is I got x minus 4. It's kind of squared, but we've expanded it. And that's good because in the denominator, we also have an x minus 4. If it helps you to see this in parentheses and put it there, okay? But at least one of these will cancel out. Leaving us with f of x equals x minus 4. So that is a simplified function. To look at restrictions on the domain, again, we're just going to focus on the denominator, x minus 4. This just can never be 0, because if the denominator is 0, it will make the function undefined. So to solve this one, we'll just add 4 to both sides. And we see that x does not equal 4. So we can write that in said notation if we want, where x does not equal 4. And that should do. So that is the restriction on the domain.